Have you ever pondered about the invisible forces that shape our lives? Those unseen elements that sway our decisions, our actions, our very thoughts? Welcome to the fascinating world of psychological power and influence. It's an unseen hand that subtly guides us, sometimes leading us to places we never thought we'd go, or influencing us to make choices we never thought we'd make. Today we will delve into the intriguing sphere of the 16 laws of psychological power. These laws, inspired by the brilliant mind of Robert Greene, offer a deep insight into the intricate workings of the human mind and how it can be influenced and guided. From the law of reciprocity to the law of authority, each law opens up a new realm of understanding about our thoughts and actions. So are you ready to explore these hidden depths of the mind? Dive in with us as we unravel these mysteries of the mind, one law at a time. First off, we have the law of reciprocity. Think of it as an inherent social contract we all sign without realizing. When someone does something for us, we instinctively feel an urge to do something in return. It's like an invisible balance, keeping our social interactions fair and square. This law taps into our basic drive for fairness and equality, making us feel indebted until we've returned the favor. So in essence, it's a you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of world. Next in line, we have the law of commitment. This principle taps into our deep-seated need for consistency and reliability. We humans have a powerful urge to align our actions with our decisions and values. Once we've openly committed to something, be it a cause, a task, or a decision, we have an inherent drive to follow through. This consistency is often seen as a mark of personal integrity. So, the law of commitment, it's all about staying true to your word. When we commit, we are driven to see it through. Moving on, we come to the law of social proof. This principle suggests that when we're unsure of how to behave, we look to others for cues. It's the reason why laughter tracks are used in sitcoms and why standing ovations spread. We are social creatures wired to fit into the herd. So we unconsciously mirror the actions, beliefs, and attitudes of those around us. It's a survival instinct deeply rooted in our psychology. We look to others to see how we should act. Next up, we have the law of authority. Picture this, a police officer instructs you to halt. Almost instinctively, you stop. Why? Because they are an authority figure. That's the essence of the law of authority. We are programmed to obey figures of authority, be it a boss, a teacher, or a leader. It's a psychological predisposition that helps maintain order in society. This law underlines the power that authority figures wield in directing behavior. Authority bears a powerful influence. Now let's speed things up a bit. We are going to explore laws 5 through 8. The law of liking suggests that we are more likely to be influenced by people we like. It's a powerful tool in negotiation and persuasion. Next, we have the law of scarcity. This law posits that opportunities seem more valuable when they are less available. We often want what we can't have, right? Moving on to the law of contrast. This law states that we perceive things differently depending on what they are contrasted with. For instance, a warm room feels even warmer after coming in from the cold. Finally, we have the law of recency. This law implies that the most recently presented items or experiences will most likely be remembered best. It's why your most recent experiences often feel the most significant. Each of these laws, though distinct, interweave in our daily lives. Still with us? Good, because we're moving on to the next set. Let's dive right into Law 9, the law of balance. This law teaches us that maintaining a balance in our interactions is key. Too much or too little of something can disrupt the harmony, leading to a loss of influence. Next up, Law 10, the law of verbal and nonverbal cues. This law emphasizes the importance of both what we say and how we say it. Our body language, tone, and expressions often say more than our words. On to Law 11, the law of expectation. This law posits that our expectations can greatly influence the outcomes. If we expect success, we're more likely to achieve it. Finally, Law 12, the law of association. We are often judged by the company we keep. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences can enhance our own influence. These laws further highlight the intricate dance of influence. And finally, we come to the last set of laws. Starting with the law of consistency, it says that humans have an innate desire to appear consistent in their actions and decisions. Once we've publicly committed to an idea or goal, we're more likely to follow through to maintain our image. Next, we have the law of the harem. This law suggests that the more options we have, the more attractive we seem. 
It's why people often seem more desirable when they're in a relationship or pursued by others. The third law in this set is the law of frustration and satisfaction. It suggests that frustration can intensify the satisfaction derived from achieving a goal. The harder the struggle, the sweeter the victory. Lastly, we have the law of social validation. We tend to see actions as more appropriate when others are doing them. It's why trends catch on and social norms hold power. With these, we complete our journey through the 16 laws of psychological power. So what does all this mean for you? Unraveling the 16 laws of psychological power is like discovering a hidden treasure map. Each law, a unique gem, holds the key to understanding the complex dynamics of influence and persuasion. These laws aren't just theories or abstract concepts. They are the underlying currents that shape our interactions, our decisions, and ultimately, our lives. By understanding these laws, we gain insights into the invisible forces that control our actions and reactions. The law of reciprocity, the law of commitment, the law of social proof, the law of authority, and the dozen others we've explored are not just tools for manipulation, they are instruments of empowerment, of self-awareness, and of personal growth. Knowledge of these laws equips us with the power to influence, and in turn, to be less influenced. Harness this power and the world is your oyster.